Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn and this is my little rural homestead if you are new here. Today we are going to Today we are going to review my no spend January. So this is kind of an update on my no spend January. Um, I am going to start off with what I learned in my no spend month. A lot of this some of you might already know. But I thought I would go ahead and share it anyways. So the first thing I learned is that you can never be fully prepared. What I learned is that you can never fully be prepared. You can plan ahead. You can prepare as much as you want, but you're never, ever really going to be prepared. There was one incident where we had some really cold temperatures. It was so cold that it froze the rubber um, blade off from my windshield wiper. I went out to the car in the morning, scraped off my windows, and then I turned on the windshield wiper and it was just going back and forth and, and the rubber blade had that bowed like that and it had just completely came off the whole wiper blade. I took it up to O'Reilly's and I asked if he would be able to put it back on. He said, he looked at it and he said, there's no way I'm gonna be able to fix this. So I did buy another wiper blade and he put it on my car. Now there is no way, there's no way in this world that I would have been able to plan, hey, you know, this is gonna happen to my car. Fortunately for me, it was only around the $20 mark, so it wasn't that big of an emergency, but it is money that I had to spend that I did not plan on spending. So having said all that, you can never be prepared enough, um, or you cannot prepare for everything. You don't know what's going to happen. The other thing is, um, by planning and preparing, um, it made the month a little bit easier for me. I didn't feel deprived. The fact that I was planning and the fact that I purchased all the food that I would need for the couple of weeks, I purchased all the water that I was gonna need for a couple of weeks, I purchased all my snacks, everything that I really wanted for those two weeks, it really helped out and I did not feel deprived. I had my water with me every day. I had my snacks with me every day. It was just so much easier. So being prepared, or excuse me, knowing that you should plan ahead and being prepared is key as long as remembering why you are committed to this goal. So that was one of the things that I learned, or it's actually a couple of things that I've learned. Uh, the next thing was, um, oh, not buying can be hard. Um, so like when you go into the store, as a social worker, I have to go into the store. I have to buy items for my clients. So going into the store and not looking for anything for myself and shopping only for my clients, it gets hard, especially if I'm going to the Dollar Tree and I have to buy something for a client and I'm not purchasing anything for myself. It's hard to see those items that you think, oh, I think I might really want that, but that's the thing. It's a want and not a need. So that's where my gratitude rock comes in really handy. I just have to hold it in my hand and think, okay, I'm grateful for everything that I have. And at the end of all, at the end of all of this, I am going to be even more grateful because I will have money to put towards that property that I so desperately want, but property so I can get those chickens and all those fun farm animals. So those are the things that I learned. Um, you can never be too prepared. You really should plan ahead. Um, I did not feel deprived when I did plan ahead and not spending can be hard. I am following the Dave Ramsey plan. And one of his quotes that really resonates with me is live now, or one of his quotes that really resonates with me is live like no one else now, so later you can live and give like no one else. That is one of my favorite quotes. And I just, I don't know why it really resonates with me. I think it's because I really feel like when I get to 
my retirement age. I want to be able to help other people. I want to be able to help um, my own family members, my own children. I want to be able to do all the things. Like I just want to be a, I just want to be a good giver. You know, I that, that just that quote just really resonates with me. I just love that quote and. I am, when I think about spending money and saving money, I think of that quote. So, um, so what was easy during the no spend month? The one thing that was really easy is I have gone into the Dollar Tree. I've had to purchase a few things. The one thing that was really easy for me is passing up all the home decor items. That has always been easy for me because I have never been one to really like knickknacks. I find I don't like dusting knickknacks. And I know that if you don't dust them, they get dust on them, they attract grease, they're hard to clean, and they just, they're dirty. So unless you are consistently changing your decor, um, unless you are Unless you are consistently changing your decor and moving it around, that is one way to keep it from getting dirty. And plus, the other thing is that if you're buying a lot of decor, you also have to store the decor. So if you're buying all of, let's say, January, winter white stuff, February, Valentine's, March, St. Patrick's Day, April, Easter, May, June, Spring, July, Independence, Independence Day, August, September, Labor Day, Memorial Day, you've got all those holidays. So if you have all of that decor, you really have to find a place to put it. So if, I don't know, maybe just sticking with the major holidays like Easter, um, Thanksgiving. I mean, like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Um, the one thing that is really hard, the one thing that was really hard for me was not buying books. I like to buy books. Even if I'm buying used books from the thrift store, I do like to buy books. I am a reader. I especially love nonfiction books. I will go back to my nonfiction books and I will reread them and reread them because sometimes you reread them and you discover things that you missed the first or the second time that you read them. I have my favorite book is, and it's so dog-eared right now, is Think and Grow Rich. That book I have reread and reread and reread, and it is so dog eared. Um, but it is one of my favorite books, and I consist, I've had it for a long time. I bought it from the thrift store, and I really like it, and I've learned a lot from that book. So, buying books or not buying books has been very hard for me not to do. And yes, I can go to the library, and I actually did go to the library. However, when I went to the library to get the book that I wanted, they did not have it. Yes, we have interlibrary loan, but it is so hard to get interlibrary loan from our library. Like you can ask other libraries if they have it and you have to find a library that your library does the interlibrary loan with. So it does make it a little more difficult when you do live in a rural area. So yeah. That part was definitely hard for me. I did go to the library and I did find a couple of books, but they just really didn't do it for me. Um, because like I said, I'm just, I really into nonfiction. I am really into nonfiction books. I prefer nonfiction books over other books. I love reading Amish um, stories because I can learn about the Amish. I love reading and learning about their culture. Um, I, I like historical romances because I love reading about history. So, yeah. Okay. So th that was the easy thing to do was pass up decor. The hard thing was, the hard thing to do was pass up not being able to buy books. And then, um, how did I do on my no spend month? I did amazingly well. I want to show you my calendar. This is the calendar. And as you can see, I did spend money. Yeah, I did spend money. There was also a debacle with my my point cards. I had two ten dollar my point cards. They were ten dollars, and I printed them off, and they would not scan at the store. And then I had to get new cards because the link expired. 
the link expired twice. And then the second time I thought, well, I'm just going to leave the cards on my phone and scan it that way. They still wouldn't scan from my phone. I couldn't believe it. So then the third time, third time I got, I got another link, third time I got another link and I had to call over an employee to come and help me with my cards. And she put some codes in and she did it right away and it was fine. We, I got them to work. So those four, that $45 was $25 from Fetch Rewards and it was um, two $10 cards from my points. So I ended up buying myself a couple of treats. I bought myself a sweater for a dollar. The regular price was $20 and I got the sweater for a dollar. It was in the clearance aisle. And then I also purchased a coat, a little jacket for a dollar. We can always use new jackets. It was only a dollar. I feel like that was not like, oh, I'm saving $20. I thought to myself, I can always use another jacket. It was only a dollar. That's how I felt about it. So that was $2 for the sweater and the jacket. I also bought myself some socks. They were $5.49. And then I bought myself that little, um, when I did the um, fairy garden at Dollar General, I went and bought $5, a $5 fairy set. So I ended up spending $14 out of that $45 and the rest was spent on food. <laughs> so I'm always spending money on food. If I'm not spending it on myself, I'm spending it on food. So my no challenge, um, there's only five red marks. I feel like I was extremely successful with this challenge and I will be doing this again in February. Five marks, I bought liquid plumber twice. I bought my wiper blades. I bought some, uh, fuel injector cleaner for my car. And then what else did I buy? Oh, the wiper blades. So twice liquid plumber, um, wiper blades and the other couple of things that I mentioned. So I feel like I had a very successful, um, no spend January on February 1st, I went to big B coffee and I treated myself to a mint mocha. The mint mocha was seven dollars. I was like, "What? Seven dollars for a mint mocha?" Normally, what I do is I buy a bag of coffee from either our family fair, from Walmart, or from Meyer. The most I usually spend on a bag of coffee—I've never spent like over eleven dollars on a bag of coffee. A bag of coffee will last a week. We don't have a Keurig. I kind of like to have a Keurig, but we don't have one. Um, the bag of coffee lasts a week and then I might buy like the creamer to go with it, either Coffee Mate, sugar-free creamer or heavy whipping cream. And it never comes to $7 for one cup, never. And I get to have more than one cup a day. <laughs> so I always save a lot of money by making my own coffee at home. Uh, so February 1st, I did treat myself. In February, I am also going to allow myself to spend $20. But where else was I successful in the month of January? So the biggest thing is I saved double the amount that I normally save. And that money that I saved will be going into a CD. Um, and then once it's all in a CD... I will have it in the CD for a year and I will be able to draw interest from it. Kind of like, you know, uh, it's kind of a little more than a high yield um, savings account. It'll be more than a high yield savings account. So that's what I did. I saved double. I also, I was able to refinance my car and I will be saving a hundred dollars a month. But the caveat to that is I am still going to continue paying the same amount that I was paying and I will have my car paid off two years earlier than actually, yeah, two years earlier than anticipated. So I feel like that's a win. It is a, it's a big win actually. So I was able to refinance the car. I saved double the amount. Um, oh, <laughs> the other thing is when I go grocery shopping, I always take cash. So when I go grocery shopping, I take cash with me. Whatever I put in is what I put in. And then like the change part, you know, the coins, 
I was, I come home and I put it in the jar and I was able to save $25 and seven cents. This money is also going into a CD. So I feel like, yeah, I, I've really, I, I really won the month of January. And I'm reminded of another quote by Jim Rohn. And he said, it's those little consistencies, the day-to-day -day consistencies that you do every day that will make a bigger impact like at the end of the month. So during the month, every time I delayed gratification, I didn't spend money at the Dollar Tree. I didn't stop and buy some extra food from uh, Walmart or Dollar General. Anytime I didn't do that, that meant more money was going into my savings. So each day on the month of January, over those 31 days, it impacted, it was a bigger impact at the end of the month. So I think that's the biggest takeaway. Those little disciplines, those little daily disciplines that you do day in and day out, you really don't realize it until the end of the month when you finally reap your rewards. So I will be doing a no spend February. Everything is going to be the same. I am going to allow myself $20, um, just a little treat here and there, maybe $5 a week. I think that's doable. And I should, aim, I'm going to aim for saving the same amount of money that I saved in uh, January. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. So do me one favor. In the comment section below, let me know if you participated in the No Spend January. Um, tell me how you did. Um, were you able to save money? Um, even if it's just a little bit, even if it was just $5, saving is saving those little, like I said, those little disciplines, you know, a little bit at a time, it will add up over time. So let me know um, how you did and if you are going to continue into the month of February. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in my next video. Bye.